What is up guys, Screwstone here with the quickest way on how to get Ghost Gold for Grimm's co-op mission, Hawkins Seaford. Difficulty is realistic, and before you go for gold, it's best if you get the laptop, uh, USB, and capture that one guy you got a bag and tag before you do this. It'll make things a lot easier, co-op would really help, but for now, I'm just gonna show you what route to take to get to each comp station. So let's get started. Keep in mind the AI will do different things in some playthroughs. So by the time you reach the middle of the second platform and they're not talking, you're gonna have to restart. Once you get to the end, go straight, drop down to the next side, climb up to the first left window where you can find the objective A. Don't go in there. There's gonna be a guy walking around that will go to the objective. Once he walks away, then you can hack. Make sure he's far enough before you jump, if not he will turn around. Once you're done, go back to the window and move on to the right side. This might seem a little difficult, but it really isn't. There's a guy above you, but the only thing you gotta worry about is the light and the camera. If the light hits you, then the guy above you will see you. If the camera hits you, you're fucked. Best time to move is when the camera's watching your left side and the light is facing the other side. Touch the wall and you're good. Now moving on to C. Nothing special, you can easily go up there and hack. Once you're back down, grab on the ledge. If you hack C fast enough, you should have beat the sniper and the guy that walks around in this area. If you didn't, then hide behind cover. Once it's clear, move on to the left side where you can find a ladder. Go to the left window and shoot the box on the right wall with the silent weapon to turn off all lasers. Then you can move on and hack B. You got all three objectives, now it's time to go back without getting caught. This is where it gets a little tricky. Before you go up, make sure no one's watching, especially the sniper. I ended up taking a little longer than what I should have, but just to make sure it was clear. Be careful with this guy. Sometimes he walks away, other times he goes towards you. Just to make sure, grab some cover. Once he's gone, then you can move. Remember, some playthroughs will be different. But this is the fastest route to use to get to each objective. Once you reach this point, you can drop. Then go back the exact way you came from. Make sure you move at the right time. Some places are lit up and they will see you. So take your time. And there you go. Quickest way to get Ghost Gold in Hawkins Seaford. Hopefully this video did help you out, and if it did, make sure you hit the like button to show your support, subscribe to watch more of my videos, and I'll see you next time. Right after Ellie meets a really nice guy that wants to hang out with her and rape her and stuff, and for this one, you're not gonna meet zombie goat to the lake. Uh, it was a bumpy ride, it was hitting trees all over the place. I laughed a little, I'm not gonna lie.